Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jonah here. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on time remapping. So time remapping is a thing that I did. Well, uh, I'll show you a video on the screen right now so you can see that. Pride in your weakness, or carry it like Jesus. Or just wonder where the peace is. The heart's beautiful, the brain's where the beast live. I paint for days till my paint is raised. This and, um, it's really awesome and it really will help you. And a lot of people have been asking me to do it. So, yeah, we're going to be using this song right here. And I'm just going to go to uh, YouTube to MP3. And this is just a standard um, downloader for YouTube videos. And yeah, it's just a website, the youtube-mp3.org. So that is downloading. Once that's doing that, I'll just drag that into my After Effects. And perfect. So for the footage, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Actually, I have a good demonstration just to start. So if you don't know what time remapping is, I'll, I'll show you it. So first, let's make a comp new composition, and we'll have it, sure, we'll have it be, let's have it 15 seconds long. So we're just going to do a standard, we'll have a, a block here. Um, this is just a, just a little white block that I made. And what I'm going to do is move the position to it's going to start uh let's start right off the screen and we'll go right at the end of the 15 seconds it'll be right over here perfect so now you have just a linear movement right here so now if i make a new composition comp 2 and then we'll drag in our song and we're going to go to where we want our uh, desired beat to be and let's just skip because this song it's right at the end of the song <laughs> and it's like a four minute song, so that's smart of me to do that. All right, there we go. I am pretty sure I know where this is, though I'm not 100%. You can probably see by the audio waves where it's going to be. Okay, so here's the problem. Okay, I think it should be right here. No, this is a build-up right here, and then I'm pretty sure it hits right here. Nope. Okay, perfect. So we'll have it build up here. I'm really sorry if the audio in the background is really loud. My OBS, like, I turned down the uh, computer volume sound, but apparently that doesn't change anything. I don't know. Okay, so this should be, this is just a fairly simple song. Once you're going to do more complicated songs, then it'll be different. So I'm just going to drag in my comp one. So if I'm going to time remap this, I'm going to right click it, and then I'm going to go time, enable time remapping, or you can do control alt T while selecting it. Control alt T. There we go. But it's easier just to do it like that, in my opinion. Like, I'm not going to remember control alt T. Anyways. Um, you want to keep these keyframes where they are. And always remember, a keyframe, it's really different with time. A keyframe sometimes represents a value, but this is re representing a value of time, so it's so much different than just normal keyframing. Anyways, so it's just going to be going normal here, and then what I want to do is speed it up for the drop. Or sometimes you might want to slow it down. I'll show you how to speed it up first. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to make your first keyframe probably just a little bit before the drop because we're going to be easing easing that, that and uh, if you don't know what easy easing is then don't worry then you're going to go to where you want it to speed up to after the drop so I want it to be noticeable so I'll go to like here five seconds that's good enough alright now I'm going to drag that all the way back and the drop is about right here I'm pretty sure Okay, right there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two keyframes. I'm going to hit F9. Perfect. Now I'm going to go into our uh, graph editor here, and I am just on the normal um, here. Where is it? I'm on speed graph. So if you're on value graph and it looks different for you, then always just hit this and then go to speed graph. I know that's a common mistake with some people. All right. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on these and you're going to drag this bar to the um, 
to the left. So you're, this is this is a consistent linear speed. Then this is what you want to have beforehand, unless you want to have it like, like if I had it like this, and it would go fast and speed up, then slow down, and then yeah, it just wouldn't really work that well. So I'm just going to keep it linear. Same thing with this side. I'm going to keep it linear uh, right afterwards. Um, it might be a little slower or faster here. Uh, in this case, I think it's a little bit slower, actually. Yeah, yeah, it'll be slower because I went ahead. So it's slower because, obviously, we messed with the time, so its base value is less than one second. So what you want to do is you want to drag these up to uh, one second, or in this case, this is like that. So you're going to drag each to that. Or else you're going to have this, then it's going to slow down, then it's going to speed up, which is just not right. You want it to have always have motion. So you're going to drag that up there, and you're also going to drag uh, this up here to wherever it is. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it, the closer you get, the better. All right, so now I'm just going to select this, and I'm going to move this to the left. And, uh, okay, make sure I'm consistent here. I think it's... It wants to, uh, ha oh, here, I'll turn snapping off for a sec. It wants to get it very good. Okay, there, I'll have snapping on now. Oops, now I just did that. Okay. Okay, there, we're back. Um, so it wants, yeah, okay, here we go. So you want to make sure that the right when it's uh, at its highest, uh, right when it's about to be at its highest, that's where the drop is. So I'm actually a little off. So what I'm actually going to do is gonna, I'm going to move it here so I can do that. Or you can move the keyframes also. The easy ease bars. There we go. Okay, no. So the drop is right here. And I'm pretty sure... No, we're still... We're declining now. You always want it to be inclining right on the drop. Oops. Um, there we go. Let's just move it a couple frames more. There we go. So here, let's see this now. So this is just the first part. Sorry if you can't hear my voice as the music's playing. And then we can do probably the same thing here. And if we hop into our graph editor, and the next drop I'm pretty sure is right here. No, it's right there. See? Messed up. Okay. So I'm going to make my first keyframe probably right here. And I then am going to make my second keyframe here. And if you guys are like, whoa, Jonah, come on, man. Uh, I'm waiting for the part where we actually have real footage. Don't worry, young grasshopper. This will happen really fast. So yeah, I just, uh, I use this. You can either make go and make a keyframe ahead, or you can move this, and this is just scrubbing through time, basically. And I'm going to have it around here. All right. So now I'm going to select these both. And, all right, so make sure that this is always pulled this way. Oops, I had everything selected, so it pulled um, the wrong thing that way. All right, so now I'm going to pull that that way. And it is even lower than it was before. That's a little nerve-wracking. So, yeah, it's, it's getting really slow at the end here because uh, we sped it up a lot. And, um... This is kind of bound to happen. Uh, there are ways that you can help make that better by, uh, um, well, you would have to like make your clip shorter all in all in the end. So here, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, so I'm just going to drag this here. Um, where's the beat? beats around here? I think I actually aced it. Shoot, mess that up. There we go. Let's try it again. Normally you're going to want to have slower, but then what you're going to have to do is probably then you're going to have to shorten your clip all in all because you sped it up. And there, so you probably want to have it somewhere solid at like one-ish. So, I don't know, even higher. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. All right. Um, yeah, 
it's uh, I, it's already gone too far. Unless I was gonna like I don't know, move this keyframe back, and then it'll be it'll be around zero. But then I would have to then I'd have to change this because I already set the value for here to be lower. Um, take that and or no, that's not the problem. This is the problem. Oops. <laughs> Keyframes can be difficult sometimes. Let's just elongate that so it stretches out to a perfect like one second. All right. Anyways, you get the idea. Um, that's basically what I'm doing. And now we can get some footage. So I'm just going to go. Do I have an SD card plugged in right now? Sure, let's just see what's on here. Um, that was mostly photography. This guy. That's when I went, uh, we were going snowboarding. That's probably not the easiest footage. This is drone footage. Let's see what we can use here. Um, this was from the Griffith, Griffith Park edit, if you saw that one. I want to get a pretty consistent shot for this. So, oh, this one was a good shot. Okay. You always want to get a consistent a shot that's going to be consistent. If you uh, the shakier your shots are worse, you've probably saw that in the snowy snowboard edit that there's a shaky part and that kind of ruined it. Sorry, this footage is in 2K and that can really <laughs> mess with things. All right, so I'm gonna just scrub through my footage here. Uh, I'm gonna use a very I'm gonna, should I use the shot that I used in there, in the edit, or should I use another one? Um, as you can see, there's a lot of footage that you don't see in the edit. Okay, um, this is just taking forever, this three minute video, okay, we're almost there. Okay, so here's the shot that I was talking about. Um, I think, was it the shot? There we go. Ready? Lights. Okay, there we go. And then I flew above them. Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, this is the shot I was talking about. Um, okay, perfect. So what you're going to do is you're going to do time, enable time remapping, just like this one. And um, honestly, uh, I put in a pre-comp already. So it's, good. it's basically the exact same thing that you're doing. You're elongating it. So same thing, exactly the same. So here, let's, let me show you now. And now you can see that it works really fine. You can also make this more of an intense effect uh, or a less intense effect. So here we go. So perfect. So if I want it to be uh, to slow down for that part, then I would just, you know, edit my keyframe. And you're going to notice that uh, once I slow it down, you're gonna probably, uh, oh, oops. You're gonna see a couple things. So this is gonna be raised because then that's the time afterwards because you are changing that. And I mean, you're gonna have to change it beforehand. But to slow it down, you're gonna have to make sure it doesn't go below zero because if it goes below zero, then you're going backwards in time and that just looks bad. All right, so you, it's very tough here. Um, there's a way that fit graphs to be, no, that one. Maybe. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, you get the idea. Um, that's probably a little slower, is it? Yeah, and it's more of a... There we go. There we go. So, there we go. So, we'll have something like that. And you'll see it slow down there. And then we're also going to have to slow this to here. So we still have it uh, cons consistent uh, one second. 
Um, I don't want that. And I want this keyframe pulled back on the side because I want it to be there. All right. There, that's a little bit faster, but uh, it's all in the trick of adding, and it's <clears throat> consistent footage. So here we go. This is the best example that you're going to see. This is going to be slow motion and fast motion, so you see the different uh, ranges of it. <laughs> Honestly, honestly, if you're going to have slow motion footage, you're going to want to have faster motion footage first. So you're going to have, you're probably going to want to, uh, oops, I'll, I'll not edit that one and I'll edit this one. You're going to want to have the uh, fastest footage first and then you'll have even no you want to have further footage forward and then what you would do is definitely don't want to make it go back in time and then we would make that below the line you get it I think okay uh, same idea it slow motion is very harder to is a lot harder to work with in my opinion but I think they both look great in the end Yeah, and then it went back in time because it dipped below zero, and that was my fault. I should have had it there. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video if you like the video. I haven't seen really that many time remapping. I haven't seen that many time remapping uh, videos in the intro community as of late. Well, I haven't seen any actually, so I'm pretty proud to be the first person to do this. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to try this out on your own. See you later. Bye.